We have some breaking news from Capitol Hill. The House of Representatives has just passed a measure to fund the government. It's called a continuing resolution, or CR, meaning that it is a short-term deal. It now goes to the Senate, where it faces a much more difficult path to passage. Right now, we have CBS uh, contributor Ed O'Keefe on the phone with us. He is also a reporter for The Washington Post covering Congress. So, Ed, what can you tell us? Uh, it, it, it got it got past the land, and now the drama really, frankly, shifts over to the Senate, where point it's unclear whether they will take this up tonight, and if they do, what might transpire. But uh, as, as folks may know, uh, you, you need to have at least 60 votes to pass of a measure over in the Senate, and 60 votes do not currently exist because with uh, the 51-49 split between Republicans and Democrats, enough Republicans and Democrats are saying at this point that they're voting against this bill, that it is unlikely to succeed. Republicans, at least earlier today, were suggesting that they're going to go through with this in an attempt to blame Democrats for shutting down the government. But if it fails tonight, Mitch McConnell has about 24 hours to work with Paul Ryan and see if they have some other fix that could pass by midnight tomorrow and avoid a shutdown. Remind us here of the outlines of the opposition here um, in the Senate. As they stand now, is it the DACA issue solely that Democrats uh, are going to be perhaps holding out on? No. In fact, Elaine, what's interesting is that we've seen Democrats sort of go from talking about DACA and their concerns with that to also pointing out a few other things. Uh, it, it, talking to Democrats in the last few days, it, it's not only about that, it's also about the president, frankly. Hmm. Not only his behavior and his words in the last week in that infamous Oval Office meeting where he used vulgar terms to describe some African nations in Haiti, but also the fact that they're concerned the White House is negotiating seriously for good faith on immigration, on exactly how much money the government should be spending, and other issues as well. So they're trying to make it sort of a professionalism and, 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 and uh, cooperation argument, uh, and, uh, you know, we'll see whether or not that works. Republicans, though, continuing to say it's the Democrats' fault. They're holding up military funding. They're jeopardizing health for, for, for children and for pregnant women who are beneficiaries of the Children's Health Insurance Program. And yet, we haven't had a situation where the same party that controls the White House and Congress potentially plunged the government into a partial shutdown, not since the late 1970s during the Carter administration. Of course, we all remember how the Carter administration ended up. Yes. It ended up after four years. Right. And, and so, Ed, um, I just uh, want to make sure that I'm clear here. The next steps, and by the way, Ed, I know you have some reporting to do, so let us know if you have to go run and catch a, a, a lawmaker, uh, as I know you're roaming through the halls of Congress there, um, trying to keep us updated as well. But what what is the time frame? It's very unclear right now, it sounds to me like. Um, we don't really have a sense of how even the next few hours are going to unfold. We don't. Uh, the thinking is that at some point uh, tonight here in the Senate, they will take up this bill and begin to work through the procedural motions to, to bring it to the floor. Uh, you'd have a, a, a one or two essentially procedural votes that could pass uh, with simple majorities, and then they might try to take it to that 60-vote hurdle. Whether that happens late tonight, whether that happens tomorrow morning, still remains to be seen. And I think part of it now is they want to figure out you know, what if this fails? What is our plan? We've got to have one ready to go in the event that it fails, uh, because you don't really want to go into the morrow with no roadmap. And at this point, we believe Republican leaders in the House, the Senate, and over the White House are trying to sort this out. But I'll tell you, Elaine, one of the things to watch here is the sort of triangular firing squad underway. The White right. House Legislative Affairs Director today, the guy that's supposed to work directly with Congress, mm -hmm. saying all the blame goes to Congress hmm. because they haven't been able to sort this out. Congressional Republicans say all the blame goes with Democrats. Democrats turn around and say, hold on a second. It's Republicans that control Congress and the White House. Republicans should be getting the blame. The blame game already underway.